losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need Best house soap in the world I'm looking at underwear at Walmart and I couldn't help but sing the song <laughs> Who loves flowers and plants as much as I do? We have teddy bears, <laughs> snowflakes, hot lips, a star is born. <laughs> Maybe it's been a while, but I did not think this was a dog's tongue. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I haven't thought too much about this. I'm kind of doing it on a whim. Like, <laughs> always starting these is the hardest part. I should at least come up with something where I don't feel so awkward. <laughs> but, um... Here's my makeup to do. I actually just did this makeup just for this video. I like went out all day without doing my makeup. <laughs> ah. Anyway, um, I just thought since all, almost all my videos have been pretty, I'm just gonna say like heavy, I guess, like talking about serious issues and There's been funny little moments or memories along the way, but I just thought, uh, well, I'm going to read something to you and then I'm going to kind of go off on tangents, I'm sure. But I wanted to do a post that was kind of like good memories and I was going to add like some photos and, but I'm not going to include any of my friends. I'll just crop everyone out or old friends and ex-friends and people I just lost touch with and and I'll just so the other night I was looking back on Facebook for the first time in ages and saw hilarious old photos of all of us some as old as 15 years ago just you know high school graduation and parties and all kinds of things and and I reminded myself that although I've been through really hard times, as we all have, I have endless amounts of good memories too. So, so many belly aching laughs, happy tears, left with sore cheeks. <laughs> it left a perm perma smile on my face and happy hormones before I drifted off to sleep. So I wanted to make a tribute to just some of those hilarious moments. And I'm really digging deep. So, as I said, like I said before, like I was kind of hoping no one from my past really saw my, um, has seen my videos, but maybe a little part of me does wish that almost every single person who's ever <laughs> encountered me, <laughs> like serious long term friendships or just co-workers acquaintances like a little part of me also does wish maybe if people had like did watch my video so that they could like understand me better and like maybe just think twice about I don't know like my videos aren't going to change people people are just going to be who they are but especially as we're getting older and people are having kids and everything like Myself included, we could all just learn to be a little kinder and especially when it comes to mental health and and neurodivergent disorders and 
just everything because I just think that in today's society we do have like um th things are just a lot tougher than they had been at times like some things are progressing positively like equality whether it be women's rights or gay rights or um what did I say? Just race and everything. Um, I think like people are trying right now their best to try to not allow that. And that's why there's those certain states ripping people's rights away, especially like towards women and transgender rights. And there is a lot of horrible things happening, but I do also see the positives and I just know the future generations aren't going to let this crap continue and it makes me happy. But anyway, despite all of that, I just wanted to include these happy memories. And even if it's just like one person from my past who sees this and they, it just makes them smile because, you know, as ugly as things were at times and like, I feel very conflicted now that I'm thinking about this because I'm like, I had a lot of great memories with some of these people and then some of these people really hurt me in unimaginable ways and, or always made me the joke or put me down and weren't like a true friend to me ever and, but I don't know. I still want to read this because, you know, it's like a little part of me thinks that I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna read it anyway and it'll make me laugh and maybe it'll make someone else laugh out there even if it's not anyone from my past. <laughs> so, where was I? Remember the time when I made you pee your pants laughing on the street. <laughs> And a week later, I peed my pants laughing in the exact same spot on the sidewalk. Thank God I fit into your mum's PJ pants. Oh my God. I'm starting off with one that's like... <laughs> Another thing, I should have decided to do this video during the day when I could like actually laugh. Now I have to kind of read this quietly to myself and try not to like die laughing because it's like 10 p.m. <laughs> and I don't want to complain but I'm just gonna continue so um <laughs> the cassette tape you made me of your secret talent of funny voices. I wish I hadn't lost that. Like, um... <laughs> I, like, one of my friends back in, I don't know, the seventh grade, she just would do these hilarious voices and, um, it actually, like, taught me that I could kind of do something funny too but she made me this amazing cassette tape of I don't even know how on earth she edited it but it was just like absolute genius and I I brought it to a friend's house to show her and I'm pretty sure she like threw it away or someone threw it away uh, but anyway I'm gonna turn my video down and show you what I mean to, like alien voices. Hello, my name is Maxine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it, like the people who have to do voices for cartoons and stuff, like that must be really hard on your vocal cords. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I wonder if we'll edit it out. <laughs> anyway. I just wanted to boast something that's really going to make me laugh and smile and then hopefully others because I have posted such heavy things and I just want some people to know that like that is not me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Like I'm, I am 
fun at times and I have I have had a lot of friendships in my life like a lot of autistic people do struggle with relationships and I've definitely struggled with relationships but I've always had tons of friends and and uh, it's kind of like when I think about it it reminds me of how my mom like I said she has and tons of friends she has friends she's known since like elementary school and she's 66 years old and she still has these friendships and more friends than anyone I've ever known a person to have like true true friendships where like they can count on her and they stay in touch and they but and then my dad on the other hand who was very isolated and uh like only had maybe one friend at a time kind of thing and went through relationships really quickly um I feel like I'm like right in the middle of that where it's like I have had all these amazing friendships and all these experiences but kind of being discarded or my own mental health interfering with relationships or just being judged and then there's been a lot of times maybe in the past 10 years where I've been the one to really push relationships away that I shouldn't have that I do regret like actually like really good friends but where I just wasn't in a good headspace and I would t like one little flaw or one little comment would just make me go like just disappear and yeah that's uh, something I'm not gonna allow to happen in the future I just wish I had been more honest about things because once you do something where you like you know, remove people from Facebook or like delete phone numbers and things and then you kind of come back and you try to apologize. Like you can only do that so many times and so I am sorry to the people who I've who I've let down in that way. And anyway, back to this. So um the time the balloon defied the laws of gravity so <laughs> oh my god me and my friend were like it was like winter and we're outside the high school waiting for the bus and he had this like just regular balloon not helium or anything and all of a sudden it's like he lost control of it and the wind was like carrying it literally in the opposite like it was just oh I wish I had it on video it was like going one way and then he would catch up to it and then it would go the next and it <laughs> and all of a sudden <laughs> all of a sudden it just lifted right off the ground <laughs> like something had like an entity had control of this balloon like there's no other explanation it was just the most ridiculous thing <laughs> I was probably dying laughing and crying and just the thought of it like brings back that exact moment and like seeing I could like play it in my head like a movie but um it just like lifted off the ground like straight up into the air like it wasn't going this way that way it was just like straight up and over the street like over <laughs> over like I don't know I can't think of how many lanes of traffic are there, like six or something, and then over buildings and just gone. And we were just like, <laughs> what? It was just, oh, just a really weird moment that I cannot forget. And, uh, <laughs> baby feet. So, me and my friend went to the beach and. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, <laughs> it's like he hadn't seen the light of day and <laughs> he's just very pale and um, he's using <laughs> suntan lotion and he's like putting on head to toe and I think I grabbed it back at some point to do something for me and the only thing he hadn't done was his feet. <laughs> was his feet and he's like 
don't I <laughs> need any for my feet or something? I said, oh no, you're probably fine. Like, you're, you know, his feet are always in shoes and socks and they're so pale. I'm just like, let your feet get some sun exposure. But the next day his feet were like burnt to a crisp like his whole body was fine but his feet were just burnt I guess that's kind of sad but like <laughs> it's just funny that we like had this thing we called it baby feet like he's just so sensitive and and that's like partly to blame like I'm bl to blame for that but it <laughs> it is just a funny mo memory to look back on <sighs> protect your feet <laughs> And, um, some things I'm kind of reading and I'm going to skip past because I'm just like, I don't know if it's actually that appropriate to share. Um, maybe I'll just leave things like without explaining. So if somebody hears this and they hear, die, like pushing someone, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, um, I licked the air. Oh god, that was a funny moment. And uh, next, when the boys were making our beds at the cabin and found my tooth. <laughs> They're like making the bed, like shaking the sheets and my, because I was young enough where I still like was losing teeth and, <laughs> and they found this tooth. So that's pretty funny. Another thing is Leilani set you up. No! <laughs> and it's like this funny motion that the guy does. It's like the show where they do pranks. I can't remember the show name, but me and my friend watched it and we were just dying laughing and we probably replayed it like 20 times. And, uh... <laughs> when you said, I'll, if I take this shot... This is another time. When you, when you said... If I take this shot, I'll be the most drunk I've ever been in my life. Obviously, I encouraged you to have it. And later on, you flopped onto the tent before opening the door. <laughs> like, she just... Oh, my God. She just, like, flipped back onto it before opening the door. <laughs> and and also, when we got inside, she couldn't stay on her infant-sized air mattress that her parents brought her like this is when we were staying at folk fest <laughs> oh my god I oh it was just so funny because her parents kind of treat her like a child so to, for her to have this like little air mattress and she's not a big person she is small but it's like she couldn't stay on it because it was just so small that like, <laughs> and then probably with drinking she's just like rolling oh I wish I could show you how funny it was. Uh, when you tried to teach me how to drive standard at the uh, Cinnaboy and Downs parking lot, and I just let go of the wheel and said, I can't do this. <laughs> like, thankfully, it was in a huge parking lot where I wasn't going to hit anything, but <laughs> that was pretty much the first and only time I tried driving standard and I'm just like nope I can't do this <sighs> maybe one day again I'll try but I don't know if it's actually called sardine tag but we used to play this game where we me and some friends would like run out into the streets and we'd have to like find hiding spots it was a little bit like um it was like a little bit like hide and seek and a little bit like tag kind of I don't know if there was teams or how exactly it worked, but it was kind of fun. I remember specifically like hiding under this person's trailer in their yard. I don't know if anyone found me there. And where are we? The hilarious home movie we made. Cheers to my creation. We made this. I my mom used to have this like camcorder that was like giant like from the 90s I guess maybe even the 80s actually or even earlier who knows but it was just gigantic and 
we took it to my friend's house one day and we were making home movies with like her and her young siblings and some other friends and it was just really ridiculous <laughs> oh my god I would love to find it someday and post it but I can't because I'm not gonna go like reaching out and ask for permission and I just <laughs> but it was pretty hilarious um going to punk and ska shows you introduced me to some of the best music and an outlet I truly needed another one um, my friend's cabin who you know I went to quite a lot of times great memories there biking everywhere the blow-up doll we attached to our bikes all the way from Garden City to St. James We had this, I don't remember his name. We brought him to a party too, but um, we had this blow up doll and we blew it up at Garden City and then took, like, rode our bikes all the way from Garden City to St. James with this like blow up doll. It was pretty funny. Uh, and <laughs> Stay on track here with my arrow, that'll help. Mm. The time we saw this super serious drama in theaters called The Fountain, and we were way too young and immature at the time. I said, I couldn't wait for your mom to ask how we liked the movie, and we were howling in your car. Like, it was just such a... <laughs> Anyone who's seen it will know, but we were just young and I guess just wasn't what, we, there wasn't anything else to watch that day that we hadn't already seen. We used to go to like movie theater quite a lot and oh, just a funny moment. And I just imagined her mom saying, so how was the movie? And <laughs> oh, maybe I'll give it another chance someday. <laughs> That's the first and only time I saw it, but yeah, it was pretty. Everyone else in the theater is like this, you know, super intellect and enjoying the movie and we're just like bottling it in and then finally when we get out, we just start like losing it in her car. <laughs> um... The time we went to a high school party and a boy in a younger grade bowed down to us like we were queens just because we were the president and vice president. <laughs> it was so funny. If you could see us and you'd like bow to us. Oh, this guy was cute. It's just funny. Um, the time my pants fell down in front of our classmates. Oh my god. This is like, I don't know what grade it was, but seven or eight and I was wearing like these big baggy pants and I had a belt that went with them but I wasn't wearing it this on this one particular day and I was also wearing underwear that was like granny panties and too loose as well so when and I'm like <laughs> leaving school for the day with my friend and I'm carrying all these textbooks in my arms and <laughs> Oh my god, my pants just dropped and <laughs> I like threw down my books and like quickly pulled up my pants and but behind me were like two boys in the same grade and <laughs> instead of Lim just carrying on acting like that didn't happen, one of the guys goes, I saw your bum. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was a bad idea to do this video tonight when... I'm trying not to like scream laughing like <laughs> oh dear these are just some like I'm gonna there's tons and tons more to go but um these are just some but it's just a little example of um oh I have to pause this oh anyway um these are just some of my memories. Like this is just one, like I started with one and then I just kept going, but this was just in like, I don't know, a 10, 15 minute time frame that night. 
and I haven't really added much more to it and obviously I have many many more hilarious moments some are just probably not gonna ever come to mind but if I really thought long and hard about it I'm sure I could like have a million more stories to tell but hey where are we um Oh, so <laughs> I'd like to inquire about your six person orgy special, please. <laughs> oh, so me and my friend were living together, like she was my roommate for a little while, and I, I can't remember why we were looking up hotel fees, but there was like it just said like six person and we and she's just paused like what? And then we just started laughing because it we were just pretending like it's some sort of like room shared room with people you don't know and so we just pretended like we were calling and we're like we'd like to inquire about your six person orgy special please <laughs> anyway that some of these might not sound so funny but to the person that it happened with like they, they would be laughing um <laughs> I worked at this like telemarketing job and the manager went to high school with me so we were kind of friendly and I had a lot of laughs but one time he's standing over me and he just pauses and he's like is that a pen like I had this nice pen at my desk and I'm like no it's a dildo <laughs> like what <laughs> we were just laughing <laughs> good times with him and I want to mention even more hilarious things but I don't want to get too personal where <laughs> oh god anyway um <laughs> the boy with the photogenic memory in high school who would quote Joe Dirt to make me laugh <laughs> so in grade nine I was like in English class with this guy and he went somehow we we found out that he liked Joe Dirt and I loved that movie. I've seen it so many times, but I don't have like the memory to quote things very well. And he just was a genius. So he would quote it all the time to make me laugh. I just wanted to include that. I kind of included a few people in here that I'm not even really that close with, but just kind of like um, memories I appreciate. And the time I got to bleach one of the teacher's hair in cosmetology so like we would have these high school events I don't know exactly what it was but there'd be these challenges and then there'd be these like punishments and one of them was <laughs> I got to bleach one of the teacher's hairs so <laughs> me specifically I don't oh yeah so I was in high school I was in hairstyling for it would have been like four years like from grade 9 to grade 12 but I just stopped doing it in grade 12 I just like once I had the um practicum experience it just turned me right off of it and I'm like I don't even want to finish and maybe I do have some regrets about that because I just had done it for so long and it did make me feel good and it made me feel good helping other people feel good and I could have at least like maybe had a job while I went to school or whatever but I just had a bad practicum experience and I just realized like this isn't something I'm gonna be doing as a career so I just stopped doing it but um what did I want to say about that my memory just came and then I let it go because I wanted to finish a sentence for once. <laughs> but, um, oh my god. I just, <laughs> as fun as it was at times and there were some like, it, it was fun and it was like a creative outlet and stuff. But, and there was a time where we had like, anyway, it was nice like making people feel good and stuff, but I was also not good at it like if <laughs> like I wasn't bad at like styling hair or coloring or even cutting but except that I would just take off way too much <laughs> like it would end up 
here and then they only want an inch and it just starts rising. <laughs> I mean, I was young, but still, I just, it's so, so easy just for like way too many inches to come off when you're like, maybe just me as a person and autistic. I just couldn't, uh, but, um, my very tacky theme rooms in my very first apartment. I had my African living room, my Asian kitchen, an ocean bathroom, and I put on my effing gun. <laughs> oh, it was just funny. I just loved my theme rooms and it wasn't something that I just did for like a year and then moved on to something more, <laughs> more, um, <laughs> I just like, I'm just like this white mutt where it's like most of my history is just white, like French, English, German, whatever. And it's just kind of like I so desperately wished I was like a part of like an actual cool ethnic background. <laughs> so I had these like different theme rooms and... <laughs> But looking at it now, it's like, oh my god, this white girl with these, like... <laughs> uh, but I did have some neat things, but anyway, um... When one of the lifeguards locked us in the bathroom at Sergeant Park during teen, teen swim, we were such little shits. We were always just getting into things and doing things we knew we shouldn't have been doing, and... Uh, and another... What does the pug say when you yell at it after your first sip of alcohol? So my friend like had his first drink and he just said something really funny. It's like he, it's like he was blackout drunk from like one or two shots and he's just this like huge guy, <laughs> like tall and everything. And, and he's also like a genius. So it's just hilarious that one or two shots just made him like <laughs> super weird after and um when you puked in the shot glass and still drank it <laughs> oh my god that was hilarious i probably told you not to waste it but <laughs> for this person to drink it is just so funny and then we went bowling after me her and a bunch of people. Anyway, um, oh my god, this one people might not like me to say, but I lost my virgin virginity while I was dressed like a stereotypical nerd, and he was a grandma. <laughs> it was like a Halloween party. Uh. And I put, I still swear I'm not gay. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, that's how I lost my virginity. <laughs> and, um. I just put those theme and Halloween parties were the best, so this one friend of a friend, she would just have amazing parties and there's often a theme attached to it, which was even better. Um, the hilarious moments that CT like forced to run to Portage Avenue to return a credit card. Like this is just something we made up because it was like we we're working these this cashier job and the way that they put pressure and the way the management was and everything being so serious and always there being drama and stuff, we would just make up these scenarios where it was like, like, ma'am, you forgot your card and you have to like run all the way, like hundreds of meters away. And another one was like, can I have that one? It's like all recycling bins or whatever, like five rows of it, but that person wants one on the highest level and uh, so you have to climb on this little ladder to get it and the other was uh, there were a few more but um, 
This really did happen, this one. A co-worker was asked to help carry out, so he grabs the elderly lady's little basket and gets her to push the heavy cart. <laughs> and one of the co-workers was like, she's just standing there, unreal. She always used to say that. Oh, it was so funny. Another one. No, 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 don't step on the grass. Giant police officer bunnies. That one I can't really explain, but we just, me and my friend would just, we both kind of just had similar, like, sense of humor. As per usual, I ran out of room, so now I gotta record this on here. Where's that light? I thought for sure I'd be like howling and I thought I'd be crying, but I guess because it's like late and I do you look like bags. <laughs> I guess because I have to be quiet, I'm not like really laughing, but um, let's see, I'm not going to do this now. I look drunk. I swear I haven't had a single sip. In any of these videos, I haven't been under the influence of anything, not prescription drugs, alcohol, weed, nothing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go back to this. I want to be able to record everything and not run out of room. I can't believe what I've shared so far. Like, one thing I know for a fact, like, people can hate on me and people, like, put words in my mouth or people have wrote me off at such, like, little things, but, um, I know for a fact that some of these people have had, like, some of their hardest laughs with me because that's just, <laughs> I know that sounds so conceited, but... That's just the way I was. I always, like, was looking to make people laugh or I was always doing things where funny things would just happen with my friends and, I mean, with anyone, like, it's, but, <laughs> like, those laughs where you're just, like, you can't even breathe. <laughs> just, I know, I, well, I'm not going to say that all my friends have had their hardest laughs with me, but just that every, almost every friend I've ever had in the past, we, like, have at least had that moment, like, several times. But, um, okay, let's see. Oh, so I left off with saying the thing about, so that friend of mine who has like similar humor to mine, like we also would, um, speak in like Southern accents. <laughs> and I remember I was like, so in character, this guy asked me for the time and I just replied like sounding Southern. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Um. We were already cold and drenched from the rain at Red River X and one of the carnies dumped all the water that gathered on top of the tent onto you. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. When I tried my best to make you laugh from the crowd at your private school formal Christmas concert. <laughs> so I'm in the crowd and I, 
I wasn't even actually doing anything to make this person laugh, but we had known each other our entire lives and were in our teens and she could just see me in the crowd and she, <laughs> my mom's recording too. So that probably made her laugh, but <laughs> it was such like a, it wasn't like a typical Christmas concert. It was like a concert with ballet and all kinds of things. So it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> oh, when we were only preteens and we gave our McDonald's fries to the Toonie lady. It, people in Winnipeg know who the Toonie lady is. We were like not even like teenagers yet and we were at a movie, but before that we went and got some food and you know, we're like little kids with like our nickels and dimes and we this lady was like saying how hungry she was and wanted money, but we thought, oh, well, we'll, we'll give her some fries to make her, like, not hungry, like, at least something. And she took them and threw them on the floor in front of us. <gasps> so horrible. <laughs> I was so mad. Like, how could she waste that? And we were just kids, like, l babies. And we were trying to do, do, the, do the right thing. <laughs> oh, she should be ashamed of herself. I didn't really dive deep into this and like, I'm sorry, maybe the lady just has mental health issues, but I read something where people say like, she's this genius and that she's not actually like that and it's all an act and stuff. It's like, whatever. I don't, that's horrible if that's true. I, I don't know. Either way, it's sad, but, um... When we had hundreds of baby leeches on us after being in this river. So we went. Yeah, we were in this river and like there's. And not, I don't think any of us were like wearing actual proper swim clothes. We were just wearing like shorts and I had like this long, loose kind of like shirt. And all the baby leeches were like in the cotton. It was just like attached to it. And in our pants and everything. Like, I just never experienced anything like that before. Ew. <laughs> Anyone who knows, like, ugh, creepy. <laughs> but, uh, it makes me itchy thinking about it. <sighs> um... Oh, so this one friend who I kind of had mentioned that was like older than me and I've known my whole life, always lying to me because you were two years older and I was gullible, like the frog killers. She would just make up these things all the time and I would just believe every word and it took me a long time to realize that she had this lying problem. <laughs> but anyway, um, so not only was I just like a gullible autistic kid, but I, I just trusted whatever she said. <laughs> and, um, the Greek gods. I don't need to elaborate on that. And I'm bleeding. Oh, I had my first period at my friend's house at a sleepover for the very first time. And her parents set up like a tent in the yard and it was awesome. And I woke up and I was wearing like khaki pants or something like some sort of beige pants and I had my period and it's like sorry this is graphic if you don't want to hear about this please skip but I had like blood all the way down to my knees and I, I was I was 11 years old and I don't even think I knew what a period was at like I don't think we had had I think we like just barely talked about reproductive health in elementary school but I didn't like I well for starters I woke up not knowing what had happened I'm just like I'm bleeding like did something did I get stabbed like what happened but yeah so she always mentioned that after and uh um 
Yeah, slowly. Yes, my life has been far from ordinary. It's like every single thing, even my first period, has been like a hilarious. But the hoedown. Oh, my friend was just doing this hilarious jig at a social and just... Some of these are kind of just like quotes and stuff and not an actual story, so it's not really that funny, but... <laughs> um something you would say new year same me we're all like out partying acting like just <laughs> I don't know we're just acting like people in their 20s do and and it's like you know everyone's saying new year new me and we're like new year same me like nothing's changed up to our old shenanigans same old shenanigans. Um, the Maxinator. It's like one of the many nicknames one friend gave me. And another friend gave me the nickname Zini. <laughs> like Max Zini. And Pigeon Food. Like I guess the garbage can was full and they put their leftovers on top of the... I don't know. It was just funny something we like mentioned a lot <laughs> some of these just sound so stupid and ridiculous but it's still it's my memories and it's making me happy and it'll make the rest of you confused <laughs> the time you br you brought me Amanda Bynes fake Uggs from the States but you brought two left feet accidentally <laughs> she was so disappointed <laughs> And I just was, like, so happy to get a gift, like, new shoes that I just wore them anyway. <laughs> like, I had these, they were just slightly off where it's, like, you couldn't really tell from up, but if my feet were, like, <laughs> I'm sure anyone could tell if I was walking, but I wore them anyway. <laughs> oh... <laughs> The time you broke your front teeth on your own knee while tubing. <laughs> oh my god. After your newly removed braces, right before our high school grad. I said, okay, not so funny, but you loved when I said, uh, I don't want my turn now. <laughs> she's like in the water. like she <laughs> She's just so light. She's like on this tube and just flailing, but... We're just laughing our asses off, and I thought eventually she would just, like, let go, but she didn't, and she, her, like, knee hit her in the teeth, and she, like, lost her two front teeth. That's pretty, it's not funny, but, like, looking back on it now, we can kind of laugh. I mean, they, she has a good sense of humor, at least. <laughs> but she always, she liked what I said about... Um, I don't want my turn now <laughs> to try to lighten the mood. <sighs> but, um, I feel, me and my friend should feel partly responsible for that because we're just on the boat laughing our asses off and we should have told the driver to slow down, but we just didn't know any better. We're just dumb kids, so. Anyway, um. Oh, my makeup's all getting in my eyes. <laughs> oh. This one I'm going to skip, but um, the next one says... Your dog who would steal my shoes and gallop and prance around the yard with it in his mouth. And when I wrote that, I was thinking of one dog in particular, but then I remembered that two of my friends had both of their dogs would do the same thing with my shoes. <laughs> They're just so happy, like, they got a prize. <laughs> and, uh, when we all went skating at the Forks, ice skating... You and your boyfriend tied my skates for me like a mom and dad. 
I can remember that. It's a cute memory. And we hit the trail, and me and my friend were equally struggling, so we held hands, which only made us pull each other down. <laughs> oh, so funny. Anyway, just put it at the bottom. And all the other times I'm forgetting, and for those I left out, thank you for those memories I'll never forget. Maybe I was loved after all. I know you were there for me. You did the best you could. I was too much. Like, you know, like being autistic and having CPTSD and then having mostly friends from, not like their lives were perfect at home or anything, but having a lot of friends who had like normal, somewhat normal families with positive parenting and like supportive parents and encouraging parents and like and just and siblings and cousins and having just um you know like it did hurt at the time it felt like no one really cared but on the other hand it's like well they just didn't know what to say. I mean, really, what do, do you say and what can you do when you're a kid and your friend is suffering in this way that you don't even really understand and you couldn't understand? But, um, I just put that. If I died tomorrow, I would want all my friends from the past to know how much they meant to me and... And I do, like, love and miss you all in your own unique way. And I have been blessed with so many good friends and great memories. And I'm thankful for those good times. I am lucky. I am fortunate. I am grateful. I have lived an extraordinary life and been to places others dream of, only can dream about. And I just put also, I'm sorry for ghosting some of you how I mentioned before without a valid reason like it is a really hard thing to um anyway I wanted to keep this post light I don't really want to um go into ghosting I might just keep that with like relationships and friendships and make that an entirely different video but that mostly happened before I got help with my mental health or maybe it was afterwards I don't know but yeah I just um I do feel a little guilt and you know when I there's so many more memories I have this is just like a very small section but I guess maybe I was like feeling a little bit of guilt about what I had kind of said in other videos, but um, also on the other hand, like I said, it's just kind of necessary to like be able to go into specific details about like CPTSD examples and how that can interfere with your closest friends and relationships and like ruin friendships and relationships because you have triggers and things but anyway I hope that me sharing my ridiculous some of my memories from the past made you laugh and um yeah thanks for staying tuned thanks for your support don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be making many more to come there's some things like you know I haven't even gotten into yet like fibromyalgia and a million things so just uh, one step at a time <laughs> talk to you later